I have been curious to try out this brand, Diadermine, for many years. I always see it on my travels when I go to Spain. Uh, and I've probably seen it in France and Germany too, but definitely uh, on my travels in Spain. So today's video is doing a review of a skincare routine using Diadermine products. Welcome, welcome back to Self Care Karen. It's lovely to have you here. So yeah, I've been really curious about this brand for a while. This is a brand that has been going since 1905, so it's quite old, and it's owned by Henkel, and Henkel is a German multinational that sells uh, different brands. Uh, Purcell is one of them, so you might be um, familiar with, with Henkel for that reason. This brand, Diadermine, you can get it in the UK. So it is available in Spain and I'm fortunate because I get to go to Spain quite frequently. And on one of my tri trips over uh, last year, actually, in September, I decided that I was going to um, buy some of this range and try it out. So I bought five products from the range. It in terms of price point, it's kind of similar to L'Oreal Paris or Nivea. It's kind of around there, Garnier, that kind of price point. Um, and what I did was I bought two cleansers. I bought some, um, I don't even know what you call them, capsules. And I bought a day cream and a night cream. Let me share with you my honest review of this skincare range. So let's start off with this um, cleanser. It is a... It says it's a facial, a clean, a cleanser in a stick and um, it's got komb kombucha tea in it. Now I've used something similar to this in, I want to say when I was doing the Boots Glow range and um, for those of you that are watching on a computer or on your phone, I'll put the link to that video here, the Boots uh, yeah glow range I think it was called um, and I have to say then I didn't really like the cleanser but I think it's even worse now so basically this is a stick cleanser that you apply to damp skin you rub it on and then you you wash it off and um, you can see that I'm, I'm trying it here um, it really isn't very effective to remove eye makeup, particularly the mascaras that I've been using recently are very difficult to get off. Um, but what I find that I dislike the most about this cleanser is the fact that it really is very drying. Um, it, it feels like I'm washing my face with soap, but not a nice soap, soap that is really drying. So not a fan of this um, cleansing cleansing stick um maybe it'll be third time lucky if i try another cleansing stick like this but so far i i, I just don't also get a bit like it's going to be really yucky because you're leaving behind your makeup on the stick so i wash the stick I, yeah it just it doesn't work for me although from a travel perspective i think this is pretty pretty handy but i don't like it on the face i bought a second cleanser and this is a cleansing milk and it says for the face, eyes and lips. And this to me is quite reminiscent, the bottle particularly, to the L'Oreal Paris Age Perfect cleansing, cleansing milk. And actually that is going to be the next skincare range that I am going to do a video on. So watch this space, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit the notifications bell and then you'll be notified um, when I upload new videos. So that will be in about, I don't know, um, four to six weeks time that that video will come live um yeah so this is a cleansing milk um it, to me this um cleansing milk was okay but to, the consistency was a little bit too runny um so when you apply it it kind of slops everywhere uh, maybe i was applying too much but that's just how i i roll with these cleansing milks so you apply it to dry skin you kind of massage it around and then you remove it with a warm wet cloth um slightly more successful in removing the eye makeup especially when i'm using a microfiber cloth to remove um the uh, cleansing milk and my makeup but um uh, I didn't really feel that this was um, a supercharged cleanser in any way. So it was fine. It wasn't drying, but um, yeah, not my favourite cleanser. 
I also tried these capsules, okay, and they came in a, in a box, so I kept both. Um, and these are, they say Lift Plus and Super Filler capsules um, with, that are supposed to fill in your fine lines or your wrinkles, and they've got hyaluronic acid as the active ingredient. Um, I have to say, um, I didn't notice any difference in my wrinkles or the sagging of my skin from using these capsules. They feel, they feel like they are just full of silicone, okay? So whilst I like the concept of a capsule and, you know, it's really dinky because you get a dose in the capsule and you just break it open and you apply it, um, I didn't actually like how it felt on the skin far too silicone -y. I'm just trying to look for the ingredients here oh it's got cyclomethicone in it oh my goodness I shouldn't have bought these so cyclo when it's added to a word in a skincare ingredient immediately sets alarm bells ringing for me because it means it's cyclical. I don't know if this is one of the ones that you can breathe in and it impacts your endocrine system, but it might well be. The, the, the one that I know is really, really dangerous, cyclopentaxilicsane, was banned in the EU and in the UK. However, I've now noticed more and more beauty products having a cyclo... Not not this one, not the cyclomethicone one, but uh, cyclohexiloxane. And I, I'm pretty much sure it's just them trying to get around the regulations, them being the skincare manufacturers. Dimethicone is a silicone that is safe to use in skincare. Um, and this has also got dimethicone in it. But I'm very, very wary of anything with cyclo because it impacts your endocrine system. It can impact things like your fertility, of you, of other people that breathe it in. So yeah, not not a good ingredient. Anyway, I'll get off of off, off my soapbox, but I wasn't a fan of these capsules. The day cream um, smells of like apricots to me. It's kind of like a fruity smell, um, not unpleasant at all. Um, a little bit uh, reminiscent of Apri, I want to say. Um, it's got an SPF of 30 in it, which um, I'm pretty pleased about because I wouldn't, I don't really like to go below 30 on my face. And I've noticed the one that I'm going to be using next is 20. So, um, but 30 in the UK in winter slash springtime. Well, it's still, we're in spring now, but it, it is still like winter, um, is fine, okay? Um, but, you know, if it was any more, if it was a stronger sun, then I would definitely think of topping up from 30. Okay, so I did, I did like this. It felt nice on the skin. It was easy to apply. However, um, it kind of seeps in and you get this disgusting taste in your mouth and it's not been hot so it's not because it's like I'm sweating or anything it's just the consistency it just kind of generally kind of goes down um yeah and I didn't really notice that this was a lifting it's supposed to be a lift plus with some protection all the packaging is in Spanish and I think Portuguese that's they're the two languages so that's why I'm sort of pausing to try and translate before I speak to you about them okay and then the night cream um is this this is the tub for the night cream again this was really easy to apply this is lifting as well apparently it's got a uh, marine seaweed in it um or algae i don't know if they seaweed and it says nature retinol um i tried to kind of find out what they meant by that is it bacuchiol which is a kind of a, a more natural alternative to retinol. But um, I'm not really getting what I need to from the ingredients list to, to be able to tell you that. Um, for a night cream, this is not enough for me. It, it actually felt a little bit drying and it might have been the retinol in it, although I don't think it was particularly strong. Um, yeah, so it's, it's okay, but really you know, not not my favourite. This is nowhere near Holy Grail standard for me. So yeah, I will not be repurchasing. And in fact, I would say to you, uh, I won't finish this routine off because I'm going to move on to the L'Oreal Paris Age Perfect collection that I have going. And I'm very excited to do that. 
um, and these will be gifted to my sister-in-law. Hopefully she will want to use them just because uh, I'm not seeing any kind of real skincare benefits and I want to get going and move on to the next range. But I have given them a good month, which is what I generally try and do when I'm doing these tried and tested videos. Do let me know if you have experienced this brand. They've been going a long time, as I said, and you know this is their a, a bit of their current range, but they do have a much, much more extensive range. And perhaps I just didn't choose wisely when I was picking up the the skincare items back way back in September. And do let me know if there is any particular product or brand that you would like me to uh, try out and do a video on. I love love working off suggestions. Um, also, just to mention, you can, you're more than welcome to join my mailing list. If you do so, you will receive a free um, meditation script to download, a free weekly habit tracker, which I uh, created at the beginning of the year and I'm using every day and it is just like changing my world in terms of routines. You also get a discount to my Etsy shop where I sell lots and lots of different things to help women with their self-care, just making it affordable and accessible. So if you haven't checked out my Etsy shop, then please do so. And I think all that remains to be said is thank you so much for watching. Remember, you are in perfect time. See you soon.